It is happening. I don't feel inspired anymore. I set myself a goal to draw a portrait every day for two years. I'm already doing this for over one and a half years, but I feel like I'm doing the same trick over and over again. I just don't feel like I'm learning anything and I start to lose my spirit. So something needs to change. I already tried different techniques. I switched from watercolor to pencil, I changed environment, even bought a course to help me focus, but I still lose my interest very quickly. I think it's time for something new, something fresh, something mysterious. It is time for a mystery box. This is the upgrade box. The upgrade box is a mystery art supply box. Every month they send out these boxes full with art supplies. I bought a subscription for three months, so I will have three boxes and this is the first one. I hope it will give me something new to work with and help me find my spirit back. So let's unlock this thing. The packaging already makes me laugh. I mean, please, not any more pencils. Can you read my mind? In the box is a print from an artist they called Co-Captain. And in this box, it's the artist Winnie Boo. She's a comic artist and an illustrator from Canada. She made this artwork with all the supplies that I will get in the box. So I think it looks like markers. If you want to know more of Sweeney Boo, there's a link to her site in the description. Yes, we got markers. I got seven Winston Newton markers in the colors. Berry Red, Cool Grey number three, Cool Grey number five, Blush, Bright Orange and a Cool Agua. This colorful mix of pro markers contain waterproof, non-toxic, alcoholic-based ink tent offers a vibrant color depth and a balanced flow of colors. It's not a spawn, I'm just reading this out of the little magazine I've got. They all have hard tips except the Cool Aqua, who has a little brush tip. I also have a Picna Micron 0.2mm black fine liner. Look how small! A Pigma brush pen, bold black with a flexible tip. Smooth. A pen touch fine 1mm fluorescent orange and a pencil. <laughs> the Toysen Dwar 1900H H pencil. I'm really happy with the paper. It's a Bristol paper, uh, really thick but also very smooth without being really shiny. So let's try them out. Normally I never swatch. Um, I always go straight into painting and I make a lot of mistakes. But especially for you, I'm preparing a little bit better and trying out every art supply I've got and see how they react with each other. The black is not fading or mixing with the other colors. Uh, the orange is really opaque. Is this how people swatch? Can someone tell me how swatching works? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's dive in. So now we make a portrait. Normally I always sketch with a 2B pencil, but now I have an H pencil. It's, uh, it isn't really dark, so you can see it really well, but it's a nice pencil. My challenge today is uh, to use all the art supplies I've got, and only the art supplies I've got. But I feel like this is the weirdest color palette I had in a surprise box so far. It, it looks nice, but it's a bit random. Later on, I read in this magazine uh, that that's what they did. Everybody got these greys and a berry red, and then they've got three random colors. And these are my three random colors, what I'm really happy about, actually. I, uh, I choose this warrior look to try out in blending, um, and I thought it was the easy way to use all the colors. Turns out the black brush isn't that permanent and fade resistant as I thought I was, um, so uh, I have smooch hair. Only using the cool blue feels a bit random, so I give this portrait blue eyes and a blue shirt. So now he looks like a sailor warrior. <laughs> to give more depth in the portrait and to make sure I use this amazing small fine liner, I started cross hatching. The link with the artist Winnie Boo is really well chosen because my portraits get really a comic feel, what I normally don't really have, and uh, I think it fits her style really well. Not sure about my own, but hers is really cool. And yeah, this is my first portrait. I think it helped me look at the face another way. I don't really like the cross hatching to create depth. I would like to do that again with the greys, and I'm not the biggest fan of the color red. So I decided I want to make some other portrait without the berry red and see if I could use the colors for that instead of using the cross hatching technique. So uh, so I made this one, and and this one, and uh, and another one, and and another one, and and this one. 
Conclusion, did these art books make me feel passionate about making portraits again? It definitely did. I love working with markers, it's not something new, I mean, I did this before, but I love how this box helped me deal with this color palette. It gives me really strict rules what to use and what colors to use. That makes my work look very different. It made me look different at shadows and depth in the portrait. And more importantly, I want to make more portraits. Want to make sure I hit my goal of drawing a portrait every day for two years? Subscribing and liking the video is free for you and will really help me fulfilling my dream of drawing every day. Just drawing. The only thing I need to do, draw something. A portrait, but and something.